Hello everybody, today we are working on the Lab 4 6.1, which is going to be about internet abbreviations. And this is all about using dictionary, which is a very essential and useful part of our Python toolbox. But to get started for this lab, what we want to do is write a program that uses a dictionary to offer the meaning of common internet abbreviations. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new uh, internet, or you know, I'm just going to call it a new dict. And uh, a dict in dictionaries, uh, or in Python is a dictionary, so it's just a short AM term. And in order to create that, I'm going to use these curly brackets right here. So now what I want to do is I want to give these key value pairs that are so important to our dictionaries. And how we give a key value pair is we have a left side that has these uh, these quotation marks, and this is going to be our key. And then we have our right side right here, which is going to be our value. And here, if I want to put in a key value, I'm going to do something like IRL because it's, of course, internet abbreviations. This one's going to say in real life and do a comma. And I can now start a second key value pair. And the way that this dictionary works is that I have essentially a key that I can look up something by. And I have a um, value that corresponds to that. So in this dictionary, I have IRL corresponds to in real life. And that, of course, works exactly like a real dictionary would work. So my next part is to add more key value pairs. Remember our very first thing is a key and the second part is a value. So right here, FDW is a key and for the win is a value. And I actually have a whole set that I have already pre-made. It's gonna make this video a lot shorter for you so you can get the most out of it. I'm gonna go ahead and post that right here. As you can see, it kind of messed up because I had a, uh, I had a quote in clearly the wrong place and it let me know that and now I'm correcting it. So now you can see I have it all set up. It's looking nice and good and that is pretty much all we need to set up the dictionary, right? And I want to see, I don't know what it's doing but who cares, it'll work like that. Here if we just wanted to see what was in the dictionary I would print new dict and if I go ahead and right click and click run lesson you can see it prints it out for me right there. Now, of course, printing it out isn't the most useful thing we can do with it. We can do a few other things. What we want to do is allow the user to ask us for an abbreviation. We're going to do that using a classic input here. What internet slang would you like to know about? And that's going to be a pretty simple input. It's just going to be a string. The user is going to input one of the uh, you know, symbols that we have up there, FTW, IRL, any of those things. And then I will say if, and what I want to check is if the user abbreviation is in my dictionary. And this simple statement right here will allow us to ask or at least check if the abbreviation you've given is actually in the dictionary, because as we might see later down the line, if we try to look up otherwise, and that dictionary does not have that key, right, and that abbreviation is a key that we're going to look up, and I'll show you how, then we're pretty much out of luck. It'll give us an error, and we will be much worse off. So I'm here, you say the meaning of that, of the given slang is, and I'm also going to give it the new dict, and how I access that member or that uh value using the key is by simply giving the key value that I was given. So here I say user abbreviation and right there I will print out the meaning of the dictionary and I'm also going to set up something right here that will say else. Um, and I'm just going to print and let the user know the value given is, or I should say the um, slang you requested is not in our dictionary. And put a question mark right there, give us some space. So what we're doing is we're asking the user to give us an input for a key. That key is gonna be what we actually look up and we use a simple if statement where we say, if user abbreviation is in new dictionary, print out the meaning. And we're gonna print it out by using new dict and then giving it the key value, or I should say the value of the key that we have. And then it's going to give the corresponding value. So if we put in HMU, it's gonna give us hit me up. Otherwise, if it is not in there, we're going to go ahead and print something else out. That way we don't run into any errors down the line. So here, if I go ahead and start the program, it's going to say, what internet slang would you like to know about? I'm going to say RT, and I'm going to type that in all caps, and it gives us the meaning of the given slang is retweet. And so this is a very, 
very useful way for you to kind of build your own custom list. That way you don't have to say, have maybe one list with a, you know, uh, indexed uh, list of values and another one with like an index list of keys or something silly like that. It's just a very useful way to correspond something with something else. It can be strings, it can be numbers, it can be almost anything you want. Thank you guys for tuning in to Lesson 6.1. Be on the lookout for the bonus uh, part of this lab, and I will put that out as soon as possible for you. Thank you very much.